hello hello so today's video is gonna be the five or so designer items that you need these are basically my five most worn designer items and I feel like I got a lot of requests to do this when I asked on Instagram I'm also doing another giveaway for you guys so Miranda Fry and I are giving away $200 worth of jewelry from MirandaFry.com to one lucky winner. So all the rules on how to enter the giveaway will be down in the description box below. You do have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel and you do have to be following both me and Miranda Fry on Instagram. So again, if you want to enter the giveaway, then be sure to follow all the rules that are listed down in the description box below and good luck. I know some of you may be thinking that this is not the time to do a video like this, but this is not about that. It has nothing to do with that. Um, if you feel compelled to spew negativity or hate on this video and what it's about, then please just exit. You know what you're getting yourself into. You read the title, so please just See yourself out kindly. So I feel like this is a good kind of guide for you guys to get an idea or a gist. Maybe if you're new to the designer world, maybe if you want to plan for making a designer purchase or investment, this video will kind of give you insight on why I purchased them, why it became some of my most worn items and things like that. And also you don't have to be new at designer items, but maybe you don't have any of these items and maybe you're thinking about it and maybe this could help you decide. Let's begin. I'm going in no particular order. Actually, since I am wearing jewelry right now, why don't we start with the jewelry items because I have two jewelry items that are my most worn designer pieces that I think are really, really great investments. So number one is my watch right here. So I get a lot of questions about this watch. I don't ever talk about it. I don't think I've ever really just like come out and told you guys where I got it, but this is a Rolex watch that I got. I think it was earlier last year. So this is the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Date Just. I believe it's the 31 millimeter. So let me just show you guys up close. It's gonna be upside down just cause you know. But I also try to include a picture of it. So this one does have the diamonds on the dial and also it's a gold face. And yeah, it's two-tone, it's silver and gold or white gold and gold, I don't even know. To be honest, I should know more about this watch than I do, but I just know that I love it. I just know that I wear it all the time. I just know that for me, it was a really great investment, number one, because Rolexes keep and hold their value. And in fact, their value rises just like a Chanel bag does. So I was very, very okay with my purchase just because this is something that I could pass down to my daughter if I have one. So I think for women, the size ranges from 24 millimeter to 34, and I believe this is a 31. It's the one in the middle, and I tried them all. Um, I almost went with the smallest one, but I went with this one just because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger, but not too big not the 34 millimeter where it's just gonna be too big for my wrist and almost almost eat me alive i like them all but i felt like this one was the perfect size because it looks like a bracelet so it will go with pretty much everything i've worn this with dresses jeans loungewear you know basically anything um and then also i got the two-tone just because my ring is white gold and then I also wear these gold bracelets by Cartier on my right hand and so I felt like it was a good blend, a good mix to kind of marry the two together. So my watch in particular with all like the specs and all like the add-ons, um, it is a very pricey item. But again, it's something that I wear every day. It holds its value and it's gonna be worth so much more later on and so that's why I decided to make the purchase. Don't feel like I'm missing anything when it comes to this watch, but if you have questions, leave them down below. I'll be sure to answer them in this specific video, but let's move on to designer item number two. It is this bracelet right here. So this is my love bracelet right here. Mine has four diamonds, so it kind of has the alternating diamonds. So this also was an investment type of purchase. Cartier is also one of those 
designer brands that holds its value and again something that I can pass on. I always have loved gold. I've always been a gold jewelry wearer and prior to this I barely had any real gold items and if there's one thing that I could wear morning, day, and night, even to sleep in the shower, it would be a gold bracelet and a simple one just like this. So I thought this would be a good investment because I was always wearing gold bracelets that weren't real. So if you're not familiar with the love bracelet, there are different variations. There's a thinner one, there's one with no diamonds, there's one with all diamonds. There's just so many ways you could go with the love bracelet. And the way that you screw it on is literally, it comes with a screw and so that's how you take it on and take it off. So that's why this is something that I literally sleep, shower, wear every single day. You know, it's just also kind of a hassle to take it off because you have to use a screw. But at the same time, it's meant to be worn all the time. Because it is a love bracelet, it's a symbol of love. You know, you keep it on forever, probably out of everything I own, my most worn item. It does end up getting scratches and things like that, but the nice thing is I can always stop by the Cartier store and get it clean. They'll clean it for you, complimentary. Same with the Rolex. All right, so my third most worn designer item that I own is this medium-sized Chanel flap. So, interesting story about this bag. I did not think that this would be the bag that would be my most worn designer item. I had originally first bought the jumbo size in the beige color and I thought, oh, for sure that's gonna be the bag that I wear all the time. I love wearing nudes, I love wearing whites, and so that jumbo bag is gonna fit so much, it's going to go with everything, and I wear this one way more than I wear that one. Number one, because of the size. The jumbo is what it is. It's a jumbo Chanel bag. It does fit a lot more um, than this one does, but I just feel like this size, the medium size, is just perfect. It's easy to carry around. It's not as bulky. And for the nighttime, it's perfect. Just because if you were going out to dinner or going out, out, you could still bring this and it wouldn't look so crazy just because it's not so big, it's not so small, and it still fits a decent amount of stuff. So this is a caviar. I only like caviar Chanel flaps um, just because I feel like the lambskin one gets dirty a little too easily and shows a little bit more. Um, so let me just open this. This is how it looks like. It has the double flap and then it's like the burgundy interior and just like that. It has two little pockets right here for your lipstick or your love notes or whatever. And it has this zipper right here, which I never use. Then it has this really handy um, pocket on the outside right here that I always use because I just kind of slip my phone in there. And then I always get asked about why I choose the yellow gold for the hardware. And that's just simply because I use a lot of gold jewelry. So depending on if you're like a silver jewelry wearer or a gold jewelry wearer, then I recommend getting the kind of jewelry that you wear the most. So for me, it is gold. So yeah, again, Chanel is another designer brand that holds its value and I feel like the price on these rise every year are my fourth designer purchase that I use all the time is this bag. How many of you guys guessed that this would be in this video? So this is the Bottega pouch bag. And yes, this is a newer purchase, but I felt like it would be wrong if I didn't include this in the bag. So if you guys have seen, I really have only made two designer um, luxury type of videos on my channel and the first one was a designer haul with this bag in it so you guys might already know the story behind this bag long story short I had a love-hate relationship with this bag I want it then didn't want it then wanted it again and then tried to find it and then couldn't find it and then thought it wasn't for me and then didn't really put much thought into it and then that's when I found it at $400 less than what it retails for on the actual Bottega website and so I had to get it. Um, I think the reason why I've worn it so many times is because of the color. I have zero bags this color and since I do like wearing a lot of beiges and whites 
and lighter neutral colors, this color just goes so well with all my outfits. This is called Camello, and also the leather on this is so, so, so soft. So I just kind of wear it like this under my arm, carrying it like a little puppy, or I just carry it like this, down on my side, just like this. And you know, a lot of people have asked, like, does it get annoying? I don't know, it doesn't annoy me. I kind of knew what I was getting myself into buying this bag, and so kind of just made it work, and I kind of just sucked it up, and now I just love this bag so much. And this is a bag that if you're thinking about getting, I would highly encourage you to get, just because it is one of those that is great for day and nights. But anyway, look how big and spacious this bag is. Have you guys ever seen any of those pictures where literally all they take a photo of is this bag and the stuff in it with it open? You can fit a lot of stuff in here, like a lot. Even more than the Chanel flat bag can fit. So I did get the bigger size. They do have a size smaller that comes with a strap. This does not come with a strap. This one was just under $3,000. So, love this one. All right, next most worn designer purchase are these Hermes slides. These are called the Aran. If you have been a follower, you would have seen these in so many of my videos and so many of my photos. These just go so well with everything. They're already like so worn, um, but I try to keep them up as much as possible. So I have the color white and I just love them. They're just so chic. They're super comfortable. I wear a size seven in these. They are true to size. I want to get the brown cognac colored ones just because I wore them so, just because I wore these ones so much. These ones were under a thousand, and I just don't think that these will ever go out of style. They have so many different versions, so many different colors, so the price will range depending on the type that you get and the material and things like that. But Hermes is one of those brands that also kind of holds its value. You've heard of the Birkin and the Kelly. This is a shoe, so it's not really anything that you could like pass down or, you know, like actually hold its value the way those purses do, but it is a very desirable brand. But yeah, I've worn those on vacation. I've worn them to the beach. You just have to maintain them. You just have to clean them. Um, I just take like a little baby wipe and wipe them down. I just literally have worn them an endless amount of times. The cost for wearing those, I feel good about, um, and yeah. All right, my next most worn and my last um, to talk about most worn designer purchase are these YSL slides. This is another pair of slides and who guessed that these would be in it? So this is the dark brown cognac color and I did get a size seven. Again, these ones fit true to size. These ones are very, very cute, very flattering on your foot. They run a little bit narrow, but I feel like they look really nice on your feet. So they do have the very like classic tribute from YSL design on here. They make their heels with the same type of weave design. I did make the mistake of wiping these down with a baby wipe. I thought they'd just dry up, but they are real leather. They're super, super, super soft and super, super comfortable. They just go with everything. And then since I wore these ones so much, I also got them in black and in white, here they are. This is the black one. I got the black one um, in a patent. And then here is the white one, which is just a matte leather, which you guys have seen already in some of my videos. But this one is even less than the Hermes ones. These ones, I believe, are under $700. And no, just because they're a designer, that's not the reason why I like them. I do just feel like having a designer type of flat or slide for the summer and springtime, it's just a very chic look, depending on the ones that you get. Like these ones I feel like are super minimal, very, very sleek. And so that's why they go with everything. So that's why I'm able to wear them with a lot of different outfits. That is it for the video. I will link everything in the description box below. Um, hopefully they're all still available. I will also try to find some dupes because there are some good dupes for these items that I have mentioned to you guys that don't cost as much, obviously. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. 
And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Again, thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. I just wanna